Church family, happy Sabbath. Today we're going to be learning how to make lentils. And lentils is a very, very tasty and nutritious and healthy thing to eat. And it's very easy to make too. So for, for some of you guys who may not have ever seen lentils, which I, just in case, I can't think of anybody, but um, this is what lentils look like. They're very small beans. Um, they're kind of flat, disc-shaped kind of, and they come in lots of different varieties. Um, they have uh, green, brown, yellow, and pink lentils. Lentils are a very popular diet staple in the Med Mediterranean and Indian cuisines. So what I've done is I've washed some lentils because when you first get them, some of your beans may be a little dirty still or may have tiny little rocks in them. So you want to wash them um, and kind of you know uh, pour off the, you know, the water and then you want to put them into a pot. Um, put at least one to one of your uh, lentils and your water into a pot. And lentils are so small and um, that they actually don't need to pre-soak. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, do not add any of your salt or your seasonings yet though because while um, it's still cooking, if you add your seasonings in there, any of your salt, any of your acidic you know, um, spices or, or, um, or extra stuff in there, it will actually toughen the skins and make it more, um, take longer to cook and, to, uh, and uh, make your lentils more tough as well. And so we're just gonna go ahead and let that cook um, meanwhile, what I usually put in my lentils is onion. I put uh, garlic. I put salt and cumin and cilantro too. Let me tell you a little bit about the health benefits of the lentils. So did you know that lentils are excellent in molybdenum? and folic acid. So if you're a pregnant woman or a woman of childbearing age, eat lots of lentils if you want to have healthy babies. It's very good in dietary fiber, tryptophan, and manganese. Tryptophan is the, um, is the amino acid that helps promote sleep. So if you're having problems with sleeping, um, then lentils are another good thing for you to eat. And it's listed as good in iron, protein, phosphorus, copper, thiamine, and potassium. Um, the lentils are very powerful antioxidants, and this helps you prevent cancer, lower your lipids, um, helps you know fight infections. Sometimes it can promote gas, and so if you're worried about this gas, then you might want to add extra um, uh, seasonings to flavor your lentils, such as cumin, oregano, basil, thyme, cilantro, but something I just stew it with onions, and garlic and salt for a hearty stew. And I almost forgot to mention that if you're worried about getting pr complete proteins, then you just want to mix your lentils or any kind of bean for that matter with some kind of a whole grain. And so that could be rice, quinoa, you know, um, anything, and then you can have a complete protein without any meat. It looks like it's coming to a boil. We're almost done. And towards the end of the, the, the lentils, that's when you want to put in your onions, your tomatoes, your spices um, and stuff. And we have a finished product for you to look at. So this is what for, is for lunch for my family. And so I hope that you get to make it sometime and you'll be able to see all the wonderful health benefits that God has provided for us through lentils. Have a have happy Sabbath.